What up, what up, Facebook? Hey, honey. It's time for Valtopia TV. It's going to be good today like it is every day. It just gets better and better every time, right? Yes, honey. Today we're talking about mastering your muggle struggle. Yes, we are. For cosmic badasses. We're going to talk about the whole process of coming into mastery of yourself and why, why it's challenging for the, the muggle struggle is real for cosmic badasses. You feel me? Who's stoked for today's show? Oh my gosh, this is gonna be good. All right, let me share this around. Come on. Master your muggle struggle, baby. Sharing. Say hello. Let me know you're here. Hi, Omer, how are you? What up? Sharing into my free group, Valtopia. You can always join. Answer the questions, please. Mm-hmm. Yes, baby. I'm excited. This is going to be good. I'm going to explain to you. Hey, Angel, how are you? I'm going to explain to you how this is all coming together. And you're going to see yourself in this. And you're going to see a solution for yourself. And it's going to kick ass. You know what I mean? Are you ready? How are you guys doing today? What's going on? Now, let me just share this to my page and then we'll get started. So good. Oops, I just shared to friends. I gotta fix that. Where'd everybody go? Come on now, this is gonna be good, honey. Let me see if I can change this to everybody. Public, and then do a watch party. Okay. Let me turn this down. Hello, hello, sorry to not be looking at you, but now we have connected all over all the places. What up, what up, say hello, say hello. All right, so here's what we're talking about today and it's gonna be good. The muggle struggle is real, honey, especially for cosmic badasses. Why we stumble and fumble with our daily activities and then that brings us shame and guilt and confusion uh, when really there's a way for us to address all of ourselves and have a better experience of life. Hey, Shafina, how are you? Where's my rich hot badasses, cosmic badasses? Put your, claim your cosmic badass in the, in the comments. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so I love this, I love this energy coming through me right now, this clarity. And this clarity is coming from other, my mentors, my guides, helping me to get through my own cosmic badass confusion. <laughs> and we get confused when we're cosmic badasses. Thank you, Shafina, thank you. We get confused because we're, we're absorbing and receiving a lot of information at all times. Who feels that? Most of you guys that watch me, follow me, and thrive with me are empaths and psychic and highly aware. And uh, the muggle stuff, is confusing and distracting because there's all this other stuff going on that needs to be addressed. And a lot of times we don't address the whole of it because we, there's things we need to learn. There's things we need to learn about ourselves. There's things we need to learn about how we engage with others. There's um, ideas and beliefs and perceptions keeping us from ourselves. There's all kinds of stuff. How many of you struggle with the muggle? Talk to me. Hi, Tanya. Say hello and tell me. Yes. Let me share this into another place. Get some fun going here. And you can share this too. This is going to be really helpful for people who are highly sensitive, people who are learning or awakening. Everybody's awakening to themselves and people who have a very busy mind and a lot of cosmic energy, but they haven't learned yet to ground it into your body. These are the reasons we struggle with the muggle. We suffer from experiencing guilt and shame about who we are because for many eons, it wasn't okay for us to be who we are, even though that's what we are. When I say who we are, what I mean is we've ignored and blinded ourselves from our ability to see and know uh, telepathically and on many different senses than the five ones we've come to accept awareness about ourselves and each other and that the whole process of that awareness allows a depth of being that we're coming into now 
You feel me? So, I need some interaction here. Y'all quiet. Who is struggling with the muggle? So most of my clients that I've met in my own journey too, I found it difficult to explain what I'm doing, even though I felt such confidence in what was coming through me. Thank goodness I'm tenacious. Thank goodness I'm confident. Thank goodness I'm committed to what I do because clarity hasn't always been my strong point in terms of conveying and communicating with my audience, with you guys, exactly what's coming through me because I'm channeling and I'm learning. I've been learning to channel in front of you guys. Hey, Dina, how are you? And in, that, in the experience of being authentic and real and sharing my journey live every day that I choose to come on live and just be real straight with you about what I'm going through, um, the, the, all of these roadblocks that I've had to being able to see myself clearly and then share these gifts with ease and grace in my life, then the, this is the stuff that I'm sharing with you every day and it's powerful. Shafina says, I feel like I'm blocked. I want to unblock myself and open up my vibes. Yes, that's what I'm all about, opening you up. So I felt really blocked, Shafina, in the beginning. When I first started, I felt um, broken. I felt like I was broken, and I felt like there was something really wrong with me. How many of you identify with that feeling? And, and, then, and it was because I knew that there was this whole stream of brilliance that sometimes I had access to, and a lot of the times I didn't know how to access it. You know, I'm an artist and I'm a musician and I would find myself having a moment where something would wanna come through me and then I would block it off. I would block it off. Do you feel like you're the one blocking it? <laughs> Are you aware of when you're being illuminated and then why maybe you get afraid of it or cut it off? Now, a lot of people, when you first come to me, your throat and your heart are on lockdown. You've been hurt, we've been hurt in our other lives, we have a memory of it in our genetic imprint, and then we have our own story of life that's been painful, because we're highly sensitive, so everything registers very deeply, and we feel it very deeply, and then we cover our heart and protect ourselves and um, you know, shut down our ability to be open and uh, connect with exactly who we're trying to call in. That's how you're feeling for the past weeks now. Well, Shafina, you know, right now we're going through this big, a lot of, um, there's two eclipses in July, two new moons in July, and a lot of cosmic events where the planets are lined up a certain way that it designed to, to show us the places where we're feeling out of alignment. And if these feel, as these feelings come up, they're meant to show, it's like our soul is yelling at us, hey, get back into alignment. This isn't working for you. And it's almost like they amplify, the energies amplify what isn't working. So you feel even worse because before you were sort of thinking it could be all right. You got kind of cozy. Thought you could just kind of slip on by like this. And now in this cosmic weather, it's like, no, you can't. You can't just slip on by. You can't just stuff down your awareness. You can't just ignore who you are and not be who you are. Do you feel me, Shafina? Does that resonate? So the way that we get unblocked is to get to know ourselves. And most of us who are highly empathic and highly sensitive, um, the journey to getting to know ourselves is, is a big part of what allows us to feel more grounded and strengthened. But getting there is, can be really hard because we are afraid and we are afraid to look at what's there. And because we feel everything so powerfully and maybe many of us have experienced difficulty and trauma, we don't wanna go back into that state of being. Everything in our mind and ego is telling us not to explore and not to sit still and to keep busy and to keep running and running and running and running, running and running and doing and doing and doing. And there's no being, <laughs> there's no being with yourself. And of course all the muggle stuff feels like, okay, if I just get the muggle stuff done, then I can be in my own little world and float up there in the sky and be, that's not gonna work. You can't have this whole separate experience up there and not integrate that being down into this muggle struggle. You feel me? Who is resonating with this? Am I on the watch party here? Oh, I'm missing the, there it is. Hello. So Shafina, 
How are you with your meditation, with your self-awareness, with your daily practice of getting into good vibes? How's your boundaries? <laughs> How's your throat chakra? How's your grounding? These are all things that allow, not just one by itself, but all together, allow us to become a beautiful, powerful, foundational vessel of being that's ready to bring through our highest being. And so uh, the, this is the work that I do with my one-to-ones. I do have a couple spots, but today I'm, uh, you'll see in the links, let me post it in the links here. I'm offering the Valtopia, here, let me put this in the comments here. There we go. The Valtopia Badass Business Bundle for the Awakened and Abundant Empath. I love it so much, right? The idea, so often is it because we're empathic, because we're sensitive, because we're artists, because we're feeling full, that we're not able to be leaders and that we're not able to stand up and speak up for ourselves, that we're meant to hide and, and be an introverted in our own little world. And I don't believe that. I believe that we make the best leaders because we are highly sensitive and multi-talented and super fucking cosmic. And that the more of you that resonate with this message and feel like you're on the other side, like this side of fear and you wanna be on the other side of it and you wanna be more integrated and embodied in your power self and you wanna feel more confident and clear and committed to your vision and passion and know what it is and wake up every day and jump out of bed like I do to be and live your life because it has so much meaning and depth for you. This is the work that I'm sharing in this bundle. It's four different experiences that you watch on your own on a membership site that help you clear the old feelings and thoughts that teach you about all of these principles that help you come in. It's activating, there's light language and toning and dialogue and explanation and color and sound frequencies and exercises and journaling exercises and guidance on how to feel kick ass about your cosmic badassery and to master your mug muggle struggle, right? Who is excited about that? I'm excited about it. So these breakthroughs that I had, every moment where I felt blocked, Shafina, and thought, I can't do this, I don't know how to do this, this is where it ends. This is where my cool adventure on myself to becoming myself, this is as far as I go. And then I'd sit with it and I'd, and I'd learn the next thing or I'd allow the next inspiration to come, come in and then I would, I would have the solution. I would have a bridge, a bridge from this place where I felt so blocked and confused to a place where I felt alive and blessed and glistening in my own being, which then I share with my tribe and they blow up and they light up and they lead in their lives too. So this content is so powerful and so um, lovingly curated and is channeled for us. It's not just for me, it's for us. When I channel these um, messages and tap into my own grief and confusion and, and stress and misunderstanding of who I am and how I wanna be, I'm not just channeling for myself, it's coming through for the collective of us. I feel like we're a constellation of energy and that we know each other when we see each other and feel each other and that the more we convene in groups or in these kind of experiences that we go through together that allow us to get the fuck over the bad stuff and the idea that we're blocked and actually tune into our brilliance and our joy and our ability to create limitlessly, that we just raise up everything, not just for ourselves, but for everyone. I feel like that, 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 that I have the answer to that and I can give that to you as a, for a small cost and you can go through it, it's fucking amazing. I had to invest thousands of dollars for what I teach in this bundle that I'm offering. Like thousands of dollars and hours and life experience. I'm 48 years old. I went through a whole bunch of life before I even woke up and started learning all this stuff. I didn't even know how psychic and empathic I was because nobody in my life talked about that. I just thought I was really sensitive and I was broken and I was blocked and I just thought that uh, people were, all, I was always in the outside and nobody would understand me and I was just weird and that was just because I'm an artist and that was just the way it's gotta be and you don't get to be an artist because I had abundant, you know, mindset issues about being able to make money as whoever the heck I wanna be, right? And I feel like all of you who are creative and in tune with some higher, and your higher power and uh, your energy, 
I feel that, that you're guided and the, your struggle with the muggle life and everything that's happened and brought you to this point where you're watching this right now is your blessing. All of it is lessons you've been learning and that now you get to shape all that wisdom and experience and beingness of yourself into now, into now, and to just clear away anything that doesn't serve and to resonate as who you are and to show the fuck up, to speak your truth and to shift your life dynamics to align to your new higher set of standards that are soul standards and no longer people pleasing and trying to be perfect and not having any sense of boundaries for yourself and not feeling clear and allowing yourself to hide away when you feel overwhelmed by life instead of just taking it one little piece at a time and doing the work and having these tools at hand so that you can do your day like a fucking cosmic badass. Who is super like ready to do this? Who is gonna do this with me? I want you to sign up right now. <laughs> hey Chester, hey Ronnie. Ronnie signed up and I'm so stoked because you know she's been in my community for a while now and following me and I love it when you guys come in and actually take it to the next level because I'm powerful you can feel my vibes on these live streams and I give as much as I can but it gets deeper when you actually make that commitment to yourself of time and the money investment there's something that switches in your brain that says you know what I've decided and I'm gonna do this for myself and I'm not gonna hang back anymore and I'm not gonna live in struggle and I'm not gonna live confused and less than what feels bright and light for myself Right? Who's feeling this, honey? Let me go back to the watch party. Hey, Brooklyn, what up, honey? Brooklyn, have you signed up? I gotta open this door, I'm hot. I'm like, all shiny on you guys. All right, so I delivered through the message today, the muggle struggle, and I would like you guys to share this if you'd like, and I'm gonna do a collective read for the day. Yeah! And then if I feel it, if I feel it, I might do a few cards for you guys. If we get a good vibe going in here and get a big crew and share it everywhere, then I'll be into that. Are you still here, Brooklyn? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's tune into the collective energy for today. I get a lot of reports from everybody over the last few days about feeling, ugh, you know, feeling really like heavy energy or confused or like inner child stuff or you know the typical thing <laughs> ronnie says yes you are hot i love your cat print on your painting that's <laughs> so funny yes okay so in this cosmic weather it is vital especially if you wake up shitty i woke up shitty so did my six-year-old we woke up and we were just like eh. and i know others who have been tired you're welcome shafina I'll pull a card for you if you'd like. Stay, stay here and I'll, I'll tune in to you. We can see maybe where we can find what energy center is feeling tight. I feel your heart chakra right now. So you've got to focus on your vibration and, and I call it baking the cake. So if you wake up and you just feel overwhelmed and weary, like, ew, I can't do this. Like, not another day where things aren't working out the way, you know, and somehow the weather's highlighting to you all the negative stuff instead of you seeing all your celebrations and how far you've actually come. And that's how you shift your vibration. We want to shift what our thoughts and beingness is around creation instead of all the stuff that isn't working. Take note of what isn't working or write it down in your journal. Get it out of your head. Those are little thought forms munching away and creating more timelines of bad shit happening. So stop that, nip that in the bud. <laughs> this is some of what we learn in these courses that I'm offering is to get the thought forms out of your head and then create new thought forms and to guide your own experience of thoughts and feelings and beingness very powerfully. And that's why I always say you're such a powerful creator because it doesn't just stop at your thoughts because then when your thoughts and your being and your energy and your vibration and your magnetism is all aligned to what lights you up, you're going to have a different experience. This is just a totally different experience. Ooh, I'm starting to feel some throat chakra. Who is that you, Shafina? All right, let's see what else comes through. And do you guys know how to focus on and raise your vibration? so that you do feel safe and no matter even if you're in a terrible situation you know I was in a terrible situation a few years ago and I focused on my vibes and I got myself into a state of creation and hope and 
It allowed me to see beyond my current fear at that time. At that time, it felt like I would never get out. At that time, it felt like I could never have what I want. At that time, it felt like my life was over. And it wasn't. That was just some thoughts I was having and a story that I'd come to know. And as soon as I focused on my vibes and started listening to content that woke me up to what's far beyond the experience I was having, I have a different experience of my entire life. My whole life changed because I let it. I didn't let my life experience that was sitting around me dictate. And I'm still doing it. I'm still shifting into places that feel more aligned to me and, and more that resonate more with who and what I want to be. And that requires me to focus on what am I thinking about? What do I believe? So clear your thoughts, clear your home too. In this energy, I found like it was two or three days ago, woke up and felt that heavy energy. And I just did chores and cleaned and wiped surfaces and listened to really good stuff. And so, you know, you're moving and you're knowing that you're making your space lovely and you're getting rid of what isn't there and you're finding out what is there and you're decluttering your thoughts at the same time, maybe even writing in your journal as you go. And then your place is clean and you feel on top of your shit. Take action, cleansing action or decluttering action if you're feeling gross or you're not feeling well. Move your body, move the energy, right? So that's a great way to focus on your vibration is to declutter. And tune into things that inspire you. And be, you know, when you shift your vibration and you clear your space, suddenly your own inspiration starts to come in. And suddenly you're filled with the, the cosmic connection that you've been missing and feeling shitty about. Like we feel gross because we detach from our highest self. We feel bad because we've gotten inspiration and ignored it and haven't followed it. We feel bad because we're not tuning into the truth of who we are. And our soul will, you know, will feel that detachment. We will feel that detachment and, and then we, we go from there. So get yourself back into connection. Get yourself back into inspiration. And then the full moon, this is a sign that what you're working on right now will come to fruition in the full moon. What do you think about that? All right, let's get from the diagnostic deck. It is quiet today, honey. Let's see. All right, let's see what comes through. Shafina says, this is amazing. I pick up my phone to turn it off as I was about to do that. I saw you came on. Yes, you were meant to be here, Shafina. Come join us in Valtopia. Hi, Melissa, how are you? You know, I, I, I think I will do a few readings. I wanna read for Shafina if she's open because we've been chatting here. And I'd love, Melissa, if you went back to the beginning of the video to hear what today's message is. Um, and when you ask to join Valtopia, answer the questions honey yes welcome melissa welcome to valtopia oh my gosh oh there one i was like where'd that card go yes y'all are my star seeds who identifies with being a star seed or cosmic badass or desires to own their cosmic badassness and you're not quite there yet um ronnie says sometimes they shift on their own making it so easy to just keep it up. That's how I got into the bundle this time. I fell in love with life last week and no reason. That makes me have more faith and take more leaps. Yes. Yes, sometimes the energy it shifts to wake you up. I love it. Thank you, Chef uh, Melissa. Okay, I'm going to do a reading for, um, I'm going to continue the group read for a second. Hey, Kirsty. Um, and then we're going we're gonna to do the readings. I love this. And actually, let me put, make a little list. And if you guys would share the live stream or like my business page and like my business page, join my group, help a sister out, grow the community. And then Shafina. You know, I was afraid to come on live in 2016 when I first started going live. I felt really foolish <laughs> streaming from my living room and I felt scared something bad might happen to me and I had to go through all of that. And this is what I'm sharing in the bundle that's in the comments, how to get over those fears, how to honor your divine cosmic wisdom that's coming through for you and however that manifests for you. My teaching is not like do this and then this will happen. It's more like 
How can you get more in touch with who, the truth of who you are and not feel blocked from your own wisdom? Thank you, Melissa. How wonderful. Well, hello, Melissa's friends. <laughs> Thank you, Shafina. All right, so I'm going to pull the last question card here and see what comes through. And this is a good journal prompt or something you can ask if you have your own oracle or tarot cards. <laughs> I love it. How do I feel when I'm aware? And I am all about awareness. It's awareness of all the dimensions of all of ourself that allows us to feel this strength and confidence to ourselves and connection to ourselves that then just opens everything up, right? I love it. How do I feel when I'm aware and alive for real? Okay, so I'm gonna pull from Shafida. I'm gonna tune in with you. If you guys haven't seen how I do readings before, I'm, at, I'm an empath and I'm claircognizant, clairsentient, clairaudient, the whole thing. Um, some are stronger than others. My claircognizance is pretty instant and the first thing that I do feel is feeling. That's why I guide empaths because so many empaths feel scared and trapped by their gifts and I'm done with that story. I'm done with that story. I think we make great leaders and parents and community members and it's time for us to own that gift and share it with ourselves and the world and to be cosmic badasses, not scared empaths in the corner. We don't need to hide and protect ourselves and think everybody's attacking us. No, we're fucking powerful. But we have to do some more to get into in harmony with the empathy. Our Shafida, Melissa, how are you guys? Are you empaths? Most people that are drawn to me um, and the life I live is very uh, synchronous and you know synergy. Things always happen and I'll say, of course that just happened and people will just book in magically and uh, you know, we just, you get into this flow of living where you do have so much more faith, like Ronnie said, and you just start making those leaps and you start expecting things to happen and they do and, and then you trust yourself and then your body and mind and spirit creates more and more of that experience for yourself. So Shafida, I'm going to tune into you. And I'm going to feel what I feel and then maybe something will come into my eye and then I'll just see what comes through. Okay, so let me know when you feel me tuning in. I'm going to do a little bit of a, a tone. I do toning and light language um, to help clear my channel because I'm already picking up on you guys. I'm feeling throat. I'm feeling heart chakra. And that's probably Shafina because usually once you've given me your consent, then my higher self just already starts connecting with yours and information starts to come in. So, <clears throat> Shafina, let me know when you feel me tuning in. I'm really picking up on like, it's like heart chakra that goes all the way to my back and a very tight throat uh, energy here. Do you feel that? Now, a lot of times people haven't, like when I first started doing this work, I would have my energy healer would ask me if I felt something and I'd go, no, I don't know. <laughs> me, like I read hundreds of people. <laughs> I do live streams almost every day and read, hey Danielle, and read people all over and over and over again. And when I first started, I didn't even know what I felt. I didn't realize that I had blocked everything off because it got really uncomfortable and nobody had explained to me how to manage it. Once you learn how to manage it, you don't have to turn it off. And in fact, turning it off makes you sick. Turning it off makes you deny your natural sense of being. So this energy, Shafina, that you feel this tightness can be, when I feel it in this area, for me, it signifies a certain level of guilt. Now we all experience guilt and shame. And those of us who are highly sensitive, hi Laurel, welcome. We tend to suffer from a perfectionism and people pleasing, especially if we're empathic, because we can feel everybody. Can you imagine? Like we can feel what everybody's feeling pretty much, through our filter, of course. So a lot of times it's easier for us to modify our behavior to elicit a response that's pleasing to us, that's easy for us, rather than doing the work of realizing that no, in fact, my chest is really tight and I don't like what's going on and now I'm going to have to stand up to somebody and say no. I don't wanna do that, I'm scared, I don't do that. So let me just kiss somebody's ass and hide in the corner here and let them have their way because now they're happy and now I feel happy too because they're happy and I can feel what they're feeling. How many of you guys are doing this? This is what I find mainly in my clients when they come to me. And it doesn't take very long to shift this behavior. 
it, because once you start being able to be aware of your own feelings and then do the work, this is where the work gets tricky for some people is to, to really do the boss switch boundaries, to stand up for yourself and define what is and isn't okay for you. And that's where we get into like people are in codependent toxic relationships um, because they're empathic and that's what they've learned. You keep on giving and they keep asking, right? Well, when we overgive, we think we're doing everyone a favor and we think we're being so kind and generous and really we're being fucking manipulative. And I know that it sounds snotty and rude and might be shocking and good. Let it shock you into awareness. When I first heard that principle, I was like, what? First of all, it's manipulative because you're, you're expecting something in return and you're not giving fully from your overflow or you wouldn't be feeling left unreturned, right? And second of all, if you're thinking that you have to help others, where's your like respect and how much, how high are you holding them to be able to deal with what they're needing? That's a big one. Like there's an air of kind of um, arrogance in a way when we do for others, oh, they need me to save them, do they? Do they need you to save them? Right? Ronnie says, that's me. I'm so unbalanced right up until there's confrontation. Ronnie, you're going to love the suite of videos in the, that, that you got in the bundle that's going to help you so much to understand these boundaries that we won't take. These, it, 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 it takes away a lot of the confusion and obligation and fear and guilt, which is what I feel in here, Shafina, which is actually what I cleared in the Clean Slate Clear Vision. Ronnie, you're gonna love that clearing. It's, it's like, everybody that listens to it, it's like, I didn't even know I had that body pain in my body, and, and it releases. And the release can be kind of intense, because that's some old shit in there. But once you le release that energy with these audio clearings, then you begin to open up to like, well, you know what, I don't feel like saying doing that anymore. And it doesn't become a confrontation anymore. It becomes like a standard that you're now upholding for yourself because you feel the clarity of who you are and what you deserve and what the world deserves. And it becomes so much more balanced and harmonious. It's awesome. Shafina says you're afraid to admit that. Yeah, you know, that's the thing. We have, um, you're just getting better. Hi, Sabrina. Um, yeah, you know what? We're all learning and there's no shame in your game. That's one of my main things that I say. No shame in your game. It's your lesson. You came here to come and do and be who you are. And the struggle that you've experienced is part of your growth. It's part of who you are. And when you overcome that, just think about how many people in your life that you know, if you're a coach or if you're an artist or if you're a mom or you're a community member, that you can help support by, by walking the walk and talking the talk yourself and learning to honor your own feelings and calmly and lovingly and compassionately say to people, no, you know, I, I don't want that, or oh, thank you, I do, I receive that, or no, this is how much this costs, and this is a wonderful product, and here's the value exchange, and no, I'm not able to do that for you, I'd like you to do that for yourself, right? You're just setting boundaries and establishing a flow of your own energy. So many people get sick, especially women and mothers, because they won't do this work, because we haven't been taught to do this work. We're not benefiting anybody when we're sick. We're not benefiting any, anybody when we're je, uh, bitter and unsatisfied and feel, you know, right? Who's ready to shift it? Who is ready to shift this? All right, so Shafina, I'm gonna pull a card for you. I love it. This is, a, this is the Valtopia read. Are you ready for this? Get clear. <laughs> If you wanna get clear of this energy, this fear of admitting who you are and just owning it and um, releasing some of this, I feel heart chakra now, so there's like some grief and forgiveness work to do. Getting clear is gonna allow you to break free from old patterns of behavior, old perceptions and thought patterns that keep you feeling blocked. You're not blocked, there's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you. It's just there's some clearing to do. Clear away those attachments, unravel that energy and come into a new state of being so that your energy and momentum can vibrate and be kick ass and pull in what you need and you keep moving and flowing and evolving instead of staying all attached and stuck to the old stories and ways of being that don't work for you. How does that feel, Shafina? And did you feel me tune in? And I would love for you to sign up for the bundle. And everyone that signs up today, before 6 p.m., I think it is. Oh, 5.55 p.m., you still have another hour or so. 
is uh, the next three to enter are going to be um, have a chance to win a 20 minute virtual tune in and reading with me. So you want to be in the next three because that's the next bonus. And then there's other bonuses after that. And there's only 20 spots. And then we're going to have a, a Facebook group to work through this together for the next 30 days. So, but that's only for those of you who sign up today and you have about an hour and the link is in the comments and it's only 222. That's huge for, for like, I, I, my clients begin one-to-one -one at uh, 1K for group chat, 2K, 3K, and 15K up. So I'm offering this out of my, like, I really believe in these experiences. They are how I broke through my own BS and I want, it, I want more of you to get through that first level of awareness and embodiment so you can contribute more to your own life and experience and not be stuck in some of this stuff that we, we can clear it rapidly. We don't need to be all hanging around in this stuff any longer. <laughs> we have work to do. We have life to live, right? We have joy to be. You feel me? Okay. Um, so is... Thank you, Shafina. It's such a pleasure talking to you today. Is Melissa still here? I like how I'm all like moist, honey. <laughs> Hi, Yvonne. Welcome. Is Melissa still here? And if anybody else knew, um, would love a reading. Ronnie, we're, wait, we're waiting for the other three people to sign up today to do the, the drawing for the 20 minute virtual tune in. So I'm waiting to see if Melissa's still here. People jump on and then they jump off. I'm not gonna, I don't pull the card unless you're still here because I'm interacting with you live, honey. Live. Live from Valtopia. There she is. Okay. All right. Let me know when you feel me tuning in. <sighs> Melissa. I feel crowned for you and some third eye. Like you've got some awareness that they're coming in. You have a nice uh, spiral in your energy pattern and there's some kind of splotches of other energy, but your white energy is sort of in this great, nice uh, spiral energy like this, spiral, spiral. It kind of looks like that except it's not pink. And imagine like white and then some blue. And So what that says to me is that, and I feel your I feel some energy right here in my chest and into my heart chakra. So it feels like you're opening up and you're coming into a state of expansion. You've opened up for me. I feel that. Thank you. Did you feel me tuning in to you? I'm looking to see if any of these cards fell on the ground. So. Seeing if anything else comes through. This card keeps wanting to come in. Connect to others, Melissa, and new. So I feel that. I feel like you're opening up in your, your soul connection to new people and new spaces. You felt a butterfly. I love that. So let's pull a diagnostic card for you. Um, Laurel says, I've seen you before but never had a reading. Last time I saw you, there were hundreds of us watching. I know, that was like a few, it was amazing. We had like 4,000 views that day. I love it when there's a ton of people. That's so fun. Yeah, share the stream, Laurel, and I'll, I'll pull a card for you. Thank you. And like my business page. Let's get those likes on there so you can turn on notifications and know when I'm coming on. Because I don't set a schedule. I like to... Um, I like to come on when the time is right so that it's good. You're psychic and a healer, yeah. Yeah, I can see that cohesive energy and um, I, I, feel, I feel a little energy right here, a little tightness in the inner 
um, part of your throat and a little bit of um, heart chakra wanting to open up more. Thank you, Laurel. So we have the strength card in terms of how you're managing your energy and this actual, the title of this show is for you, The Muggle Struggle for Cosmic Badasses. That's what I feel like your message is today, that the one we've been talking about today. How are you integrating and embodying your cosmic energy in a way that, a lot, that you're also, your muggle life is aligned to your, <laughs> to your cosmic badass life? And we have the energy drain cup here. So um, is there something that's siphoning, that's the word they wanted me to use, siphoning your energy and how are you with your boundaries and holding up your space for yourself and, and owning your presence as a psychic and a healer and letting that be um, uh, good in your world, right? Are you laughing? Tell me why you're laughing. Tell me why you're laughing. So let me pull a question card for you. And now I'm starting to feel some throw chakra for you just coming up to the surface. That you're welcome, Sheffina, my pleasure. Anxiety creeps up. Yeah, I feel that right now in your throat. I can feel that like you're afraid to speak up. You're afraid to be visible. Is that true? And that, that's like this energy right here is like old witchy energy. This is like past life fear of being hung and um, killed for your expression as a as a, a fully aware cosmic being on the planet <laughs> on our in life right so I'm telling you this bundle that's what this is all about it's getting over that anxiety and fear to be yourself to speak your truth to establish your boundaries to um, express the truth of who you are to practice your gifts let me go close that I'm gonna have to go if that's noisy. So we can shift that. We can shift that, Melissa, because that's just keeping you from reaching who you're meant to reach and um, allowing the joy in your life of being who you are. I love it. You got the connect to others card. Yeah, you have witch in your blood. I know, we, we all do. And that's a lot of the clearings that I do address the witchy uh, feeling, that fear. It's in our DNA. It's a marker in our DNA. We get to clear that, we get to shift it. So you got the connect to others. And how do I feel when I like people? <laughs> and why am I capable? So this live stream was just for you today, Melissa. And I hope you take a look at the link for the bundle because that it's all about it. Um, you're not sure from where, though I've always been magical and interested in everything everyone else thinks is weird. Right. Well, there's a whole bunch of us who don't think it's weird at all. And we're expressing ourselves and connecting with each other. And uh, the more we do, the more we are able to integrate the magic into life and be leaders in that arena by, by letting it be what it is. Do you feel the clearing now? I'm just clearing that energy in your throat. Excuse me, I burp on my streams because um, that's how energy healers do. <laughs> so I'm gonna do Laurel and then I'm gonna go. Um, check it out, Melissa, and check it out. If you're going to get it, get it before 5.55 p.m. Pacific Standard Time so you can enter to win uh, the reading um, and be in the first batch of spots because it's being, it's being sold for the next week, but the, but the bonuses are today. And I'm doing that because I want us to get in on this. I want this to begin. I want the energy to to support you guys, especially right now in this cosmic weather. Like it's perfect timing. Okay, Laurel, let me know when you're ready. I'm gonna just do a little toning to clear that energy from Melissa, thank you. Hi! <clears throat> I need to take a drink. Hi! tuning in and everybody sends me something different sometimes I don't see much and sometimes it's just like oh my gosh there's so much information and it's your higher self that's guiding this experience it's what you need to know today exactly what you need to know today so Laurel I see I 
I see something, I'm trying to, the, the clear cognizance isn't coming in. It's something about roots. I saw this like, pea, and then this thing curving, and it feels like roots and attachments, basically. You feel it. Hey, Susan. Okay, so you got the get clear card too. So the message today is obviously, um, we got the declutter card and the get clear card. So it's time for everybody to clear their energy. And that is what the bundle does for you too. Just be aware of the peaks and valleys. I feel that energy still in my throat and that uh, chest. And that may be you too, Laurel. The kind of um, a little bit of guilt, shame energy that uh, wants to release. Um, you know, when I was doing Clean Slate Clear Vision, which is in the bundle, I was going through new awarenesses of guilt and how subtle they are and how hidden they are in our awareness. Hey, Shelly. Um, and and it, it can mask as something that you just have to do. And when you really begin to look at and release this energy, it shifts so much. It really does. So know your ups and downs. Understand this cosmic weather is here to remind you of the downs so that you can shift into the up. So you can be aware of what doesn't work for you and, and what does. And music is a really powerful way to clear and illuminate your vibration. Surround yourself with positivity and work-life balance needed. How's your work-life balance? Yeah? So, well, this was really fun, guys. And listen, you have about an hour left to get in on the bundle. You're going to be uh, entered into the drawing to win the 20-minute virtual tune-in. It gets sent to your inbox. It's me. I tune in with you virtually just like I am now, but for 20 minutes, all my decks, alignment, attunement, activation. It's a very powerful experience, and it's worth $222. So when you purchase the $222 for the bundle, and then you get that as a bonus if you're one of the ones that enters today. Yes! And um, otherwise, if you're not ready just today, then you can purchase until next Monday. And I wouldn't miss this if I were you. I just wouldn't. It's four uh, videos. The Abundance Awakening, The Love Drop, Releasing Shame to Receiving Guidance, The um, Epic Video Rockstar, which clears your fear of being visible and sharing your work as a healer or a messenger or guide, and the um, Clean Slate Clear Vision, which clears all of this body energy that you didn't even know, subconscious fears and uh, reach the old pains and uh, energy that's locked up that you're not even aware of, that's keeping you stuck and blocked. So check it out, check out the links. And if you would love to work with me one-to-one, -one, I do have a couple spots open right now. Um, like I said, the group chat messenger begins at 1K, 90-day commitment, 2K, for private and 3K, you get access to all of my stuff, all of my programs that I run, whatever comes through, you're just like on the Valtopia sphere, like in the whole thing, up with me every day. Um, my one-to-one -one clients, I message with them every day, throughout the day, because things come up and we wanna shift. Um, you're in my energy field. I'm sending you little tidbits in your thing. It's a very powerful experience. So thank you for joining me today. Reach out if you're interested for an application and check out the links and enjoy this weather. Let it shift and evolve you into your highest resonance and frequency. Be the leader, be a cosmic badass. Don't let your muggle struggle take away from your beingness. Oh, your frequency supernova. There's nobody like you. Bye.